Hello YouTube, what is up? Commando here with a video. Obviously, uh, as you can see, empty red table. Oh, it's actually a towel. The table isn't actually red. Or maybe it is. You'll never know. Unless you can see the bottom of it, in which case, I've been thwarted. So, today, Ami Ami package came in. Ami Ami, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, I know Kevin pronounced it Ami Ami because he is Asian. So this is going to be a loot haul. Note, this is not an unboxing, unless you consider opening a giant box an unboxing, in which case it is. I know, neckbeard, deal with it. I was too lazy to shave. I just wanted to open my package. So, yeah. Ami Ami package is right here. I don't know if you can see it in frame or not, but it's it's big. It's got one, two, three, like a bird eyes. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Uh, well, I'm not going to shut up because I need to talk because it's my video, but yes. Ami Ami, uh, this thing, see it, honor it, live with it, so yes, okay, I have this thing, uh, for later I'm going to open one of the figures, I'm going to unbox one of the figures, and then show you that, so small stuff first, boom, what is this you ask, well, this is a phone charm for my iPhone, uh, it goes into the earphone jack, and it is a Asuna rapier, um, it's a rapier, with a uh, little jewel on it, uh, Knights of the Blood uh, cross, stuff like that. So that's going to be replacing my Super Mario mushroom that I have had for a while. I'll alternate between the two, maybe. So, yes. Your phone jack. Boom. Second small thing. Um, Yoko card sleeves. You know, green log on. Yoko. Um, yeah. Uh, for, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Magic, uh, whatever other, uh, cards you can, uh, think of. But, you know, I don't really play cards anymore, um, but, you know, every now and again I get my buddies over and be like, Hey, let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh! And they'll be like, what? So, yes. This. Keep it still for you. Yeah, okay. Next. Um, yeah, okay. Another, uh, it's not small, it's actually big and rather expensive, or was rather expensive, rather, 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 anyway. Doo -doo -doo -bop -bop -doo. If I feel like I'm in a rush, I'm not. I'm just being enthusiasm. What is this, you ask? Well, this is none other than Sword Art Online Infinity Moment for the PlayStation Portable uh, UMD. It's a UMD. I think it comes with a download version for the uh, other one. But this is, has the UMD. Um, yeah, the box is all shiny and nice, and uh, it's just beautiful. I have a PSP, so yes, I will be playing this. Uh, as far as I know, the menus are all in English, so, you know, I can browse through them rather easily. So, yes, menus, Sword Art Online, Infinity Moment, PlayStation Portable, boom. Special Edition, this is the Special Edition. It's got, it's got cool shit in it, uh, that's all I know. Not 100% on what that cool shit is, but next small thing, uh, it's a little Asuna... Scrap nuts. Little Asuna um, prize figure, I guess, from Ami Ami. Fifteen dollars. So you know, didn't break the bank. Uh, I decided whatever, because I like Asuna. So and I like Sword Art Online, uh, obviously. Uh, first half. But yes, Asuna prize figure from Tato. Tato. Ho Tato. Hi hi hi. All right. Here's the actually the figure that I will be unboxing today. This is a pre-owned figure. Uh, this is. Jube Yagyu, and her nipple is sticking out. But yes, uh, so they messed up repackaging, I guess. Uh, unless it's never been opened. This has never been opened, so never mind that. But it is pre-owned. Uh, AB, never been opened. Jube Yagyu, uh, swimsuit version from Ami Ami Zero. Got this for about 5,400 yen, so nothing major in the bank department. And uh, it's cast off. I'll be displaying it cast off because um, I don't really like the swimsuit all that much and her body sculpt is. So, yes. It's all censored on the box, so, you know, you youngins watching this aren't getting scarred for life. Yes. I'm glad I'm opening this too because the uh, her nipple sticking out, like I said. Next one is a big figure, like real big, like, oh my god, Okabe is huge. So, yes, this is a brand new Okabe Rintaru Okarin from Plum. I got this from Amiami as well. 
it was kind of expensive, it was like 70 bucks or something like that. But it's a really huge scaled figure. Like here's my forearm, boom, large and in charge. So Okabe, a lot of people are giving this figure flack. I'm gonna open it up in the next in the next week or so when I get new cabinets, and I will be the judge. I will judge menting this thing. So yes, be aware, prepared. Be aware, prepared. Yeah. Okay. Oh, all right. Next up, another rather large figure. Uh, Goku, uh, um, Goku, you know, Rintaro, I think it's also Rintaro. Uh, this is, uh, Kuroniko from Kurobukiya, the swimsuit version that goes with the Kirino that I already has. So, um, yeah. So that's that, um, you can pose her taking her skirt off her leg or her sandals, putting them on her feet. Yes, beautiful figure, um. Kurobukiya knows exactly what the fuck they're doing when it comes to Oriyama because they just make all the bestest Oriyama figures everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I'll have links probably to like every single individual figure thing on uh, MFC in the description for each figure so you can be like, oh, that's the one you got. This one, you're probably going to be like, oh my god, of course you have that, everybody has this. It is the uh, Asuna Nendoroid from Good Smile a Company, and this is number 283. Very interesting tidbit. So, Asuna Nendoroid, Good Smile Company. This entire order cost about $440, uh, including shipping. Shipping was like $80 for the big box. Plus, I had to pick customs just now, which is like $26. Fucking bastards. Uh, I pay customs uh, less often than not, so... It's okay. Customs every once in a while, I feel like I think they need to give it to me, but they don't want to, you know, because I'm special. I like to think that I'm special. My mom said so, so. Asuna Nendoroid. <whistles> yes, so. Alright. Finally, the final figure for this uh, establishment is Bendai's. Pokemon's Mediarts Mewtwo. It's Mewtwo. So, yes, Mewtwo. Uh, it looks like it's been double taped, weirdly. Um, yeah, so this is Mewtwo from Bandai. Brand new, doobity doo. Uh, it looks like there's a paint chip in, on the figure itself inside, just a minor thing on the chesticle. But, you know, nice little box. Uh, actually, it's a really nice little box. But yeah, it's got Mewtwo in there, and I'm being a badass, and he's totally poseable and shit, so I'm like, yo, Mewtwo, and he'd be like, what? It also came with a little oh. mini Mew. Mini Mew? So yeah, it came with a little mini Mew, and um, that can also be posed with him. So, yes. That looks like it is going to be it. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put this one on the table. That is the one I'm unboxing. Uh, right now, because I have room in, for it in my cabinet, and I've been excited for this one, because Jubei Yagyu uh, is too strong. So, yes, I love her. So I will be opening her next, right after I do this video. So I'm actually going to upload this onto my computer, then do that, because I need to have space on my phone to do that, or on my camera, whatever you want to call it. So, yes, that has been a figure loot haul by Commando from Amiami. Uh, my March order uh, is now April. I know it is late. But it's pretty awesome, I think. Um, and actually, Okabe looks pretty decent from what I can see. Actually, I don't think I have any issues. Uh, not from what I can see through this uh, double thick packaging. But it might be fogging my eyes. It burns! So, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, rate, comment if you want to, not if you need to, because subscribers who don't watch my videos are kind of useless to me. So if you're a subscriber, you don't watch my videos, other than that, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all, it's all good. So, yes, peace out, niggas, and white people.